Welcome, Climate Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com with your coronavirus update. My God, people are getting crazy out there. I'm reporting live from the coronavirus bunker where I'm in self-quarantine from all the mass hysteria and fear porn. So what I want to do today is kind of update you on the situation, get some real facts, some numbers, go over a couple maps, and let's take a look at the big picture of what's going on with the coronavirus craze and all of the peer porn associated with it. Uh, but everything you're about to see is free of charge and open source. So please, if you could support me monthly on patreon.com slash climate viewer or one-time donation on PayPal, it's always appreciated. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit no all notifications. And of course, uh, please remember to support uh, the channel. Sharing is caring because ain't that the truth. So we're, what we're going to do first is let's look at the raw numbers. And this is brought to you by Johns Hopkins University with their live coronavirus tracker. And as you can see, 162,000 total convert, confirmed cases with 6,000 deaths. And you got a map here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the first conspiracy theory that's floating around there. And a lot of people are, are floating this. And I even had a radio show host call me to have me come on. And he said, Jim, what does coronavirus have to do with 5G? Because there's a lot of people talking about that. Oh, maybe these symptoms are all from 5G and a quick look at things, you know, kind of brings it into perspective. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here to Italy, okay? And what we'll see is that in Italy, we have uh, these cases right here. We have, uh, what did I click on? Right here. We have 21,000 uh, confirmed cases and, uh, let's see, 1,441 deaths. Now, the interesting part about that is that, um, you know, right up here in Switzerland, you can click right next to it, and you can see that there are 2,200 cases and uh, only 14 deaths. So what does this have to do with, uh, you know, the, the good old 5G? So let's take a look at the 5G map and see what this looks like so oh what do we see here we see seven 5g towers in italy and 798 in switzerland so if there was a correlation between um the number of cases of uh coronavirus and 5g then having seven 5g towers in italy and way more cases and a total of you know 700 plus in uh, Switzerland. You'd think you'd see more cases in Switzerland. So that's that's your first big. Uh, I don't think this is happening kind of moment. Um, a lot of people play on fear porn. They they play on your fears. It's an appeal to fear. So of course, five G being all the rave. A lot of people are going to try to link the two together because if you take two things and put them together that are scary, boy, you probably get a lot of views on YouTube. Oh my God! Um, but you know, you gotta you gotta look at this and you gotta go. Bro. I mean, seriously, Bro. you know, this is just ridiculous. So um, we're going to move on from that. There's also a lot of conspiracy theories about you know th th this came from a biological weapons lab. Biological weapons labs are real. Um, the U.S. Army Chemical Corps has biological weapons facilities all over the United States. China has them, too. Is there any proof to it? Who freaking knows? A little bit more on that conspiracy theory towards the end of this video, because there may actually be some truth to this, but we'll never know. That's the truth of this. We don't know. So let's look at why we should be scared of coronavirus, if we should be at all. And right here, I've got our world and data, and you can see that there, there's some pretty interesting numbers here. Number of deaths by cause worldwide in 2017. 
cardiovascular diseases. 17.79 million people died of cardiovascular disease. So for those who don't understand what that means, that means heart failure. Um, cancer, 9.5 million. Respiratory diseases, 3.9 million. And that includes the regular flu. That includes a whole lot of things, um, pneumonia, all kinds of stuff, lower respiratory infections, 2.56 million, dementia, digestive diseases, neonatal, diarrhea killed 1.5 million, okay? Just to refresh everybody, um, as you can see here, so far, coronavirus, 6,000 people, pretty far from even the million mark. Um, at this point, natural disasters, terrorism, and just being hot or cold has got coronavirus beat by a mile. Um, another source for this, top 10 causes of death from the World Health Organization. Scroll down here, and you can see heart attack, stroke, heart attack, lower respiratory infections, Alzheimer's, uh, lung problems, diabetes, road injury. I mean, you're more likely to die in a car accident than dying from coronavirus. Maybe I don't need this mask on today. Maybe I'm just being a little paranoid. I don't know. What do you think, little John? Yeah! I think so, too. What? No, I'm serious. I really shouldn't be scared of coronavirus. That's kind of ridiculous. I mean, seriously, like, Bruh. I mean, seriously. Um, but interestingly enough, this isn't the first time that we've had a real big scare from a virus uh, played out in the media and then used to roll out viruses this is from my good friend mike morales at above ground world news and i'm gonna let him just take this away real quick so enjoy the flu season is upon us which type will we worry about this year and what kind of shots will we be told to take remember the swine flu scare of 1976 that was the year the u.s government told us all that swine flu could turn out to be a killer that could spread across the nation. And Washington decided that every man, woman, and child in the nation should get a shot to prevent a nationwide outbreak, a pandemic. Well, 46 million of us obediently took the shot. And now 4,000 Americans are claiming damages from Uncle Sam amounting to three and a half billion dollars because of what happened when they took that shot. By far the greatest number of the claims, two thirds of them, are for neurological damage or even death allegedly triggered by the flu shot. We pick up the story back in 1976 when the threat posed by the swine flu virus seemed very real indeed. This virus was the cause of a pandemic in 1918 and 1919 that resulted in over half a million deaths in the United States, as well as 20 million deaths around the world. See how easy it is to Thus, the U.S. government's publicity machine was cranked into action to urge all America to protect itself against the swine flu menace. Influenza is serious business. During major flu epidemics, millions of people are sick and thousands die. Well, this year you can get protection. The vaccines are safe, easy to take, and they can protect you against flu. So roll up your sleeve. Protect yourself. One of the... Uh. Read damn ridiculous. So, yeah, this has all happened before 1976 is the year I was born. I didn't hear about this. Um, who knows? I was born on a military base. So I probably was shot up with this stuff. Um, and then subsequently in 2009, I got a flu shot. And b between the flu shot being over irradiated with a Bluetooth in one ear, a cell phone on the other ear, and a wide area network Wi-Fi behind my head because I was a help desk guy for a computer, you know, doing computers. Um, I got uh, Graves' disease, and it affected my thyroid pretty severely. And I've since recovered by limiting my, um, you know, wireless signals in my house. Uh, everything's wired in and uh, limiting my cell phone use. And, of course, you know, not taking another freaking flu shot and dealing with my stress. But regardless, there are many things out there that could kill you. Um, this is probably not going to be one of them. Plane exhaust kills more people than plane crashes. Just an example, they, they assume that up to 10,000 people per year die from plane exhaust. So, again, 
just as a refresher, right now we're sitting at 6,000 uh, deaths, you know, from the coronavirus. Uh, you, you're, you're just as likely to die from plane crashes or getting bit by, you know, a shark or lightning bolts. Kind of ridiculous. So, how does this compare to past outbreaks? Uh, we could look through this real quick. And the 1918 influenza being one of the biggest ones. 500 million uh, global cases, over 50 million people died, 675,000 in the United States. The death rate was around 2%. Um, but also in 1918, we didn't have all of the medical facilities that we have today. We certainly didn't have any antibiotics or any kind of real you know, medicine um, like we have today. So, of course, more people were, die, were would die from this and it would be spread more rapidly. But at the same time, only 2% of people died. That's pretty, pretty freaking amazing, actually. Um, the seasonal flu happens every single year. Um, global cases, 9% of the population or about 1 billion infections, up to 5 million of which are severe. And global deaths annually, between 291,000 to 646,000, or a death rate of around 0.1%. Again, um, you know, nothing to shake a stick at, but also it happens every single freaking year. So I don't see what the big deal is. Over on Climate Viewer Maps, we've been tracking uh, disease outbreaks. Um, George Stiller has been making maps on this sort of thing for quite some time. And um, as you can see here, the spread of the Ebola outbreaks from 1976 through 2015, around 2,000 people you know, have died from this. It's, it's minuscule. So, I mean, of course, when Ebola happened just recently, it was all over the news. They were scaring the hell out of people about how Ebola was going to kill everybody in America. It did not happen. Um, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, Lots of outbreaks. Not a lot of people died from it. Um, not a big deal. Um, you know, information on that uh, right here. So, 858 people died from MERS. Um, maybe you've never even heard of it. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Coronavirus. Surprise. Also, SARS. Um, SARS is another coronavirus. It went all over the world. Did a lot of people die from it? No. So, um, but way more people died from SARS than from COVID-19 coronavirus so far. So just pointing that out. Another really interesting conspiracy theory I've been floating around because it makes perfect sense to me is that isn't it coincidental that just as Hong Kong is fighting for its freedom, um, as you know, the, the whole country is up in arms over the fact that China wants to be able to extradite people from Hong Kong, the semi-autonomous region, to mainland China so they can torture the crap out of them and harvest their organs. Um, what? Yes, yeah, seriously. They, they actually want to... You, you should look up Chinese organ harvesting. It'll really make your head spin. Okay. Thank you, little John. I mean, do that. Look that up. Um, but regardless, you may not have even heard about this. Even... On one of uh, the video gaming streams, uh, a guy named Blitz Chung calls for liberation of his country in post-game interview. This is from Legacy Killer HD. Uh, take it away, sir. Official Taiwanese Hearthstone stream for his post-game interview wearing a gas mask. After lifting the mouthpiece, Blitz Chung shouted in Chinese, Liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our age. And the casters that were actually interviewing him, they, they hid under their desk. Because they know that's a no-no. Because you know that communist Chinese government, they don't, they're not too... Uh, keen on free speech like that. And as this article proceeds, it brings this up, not wanting to be associated with the statement made by Blitz Chung, the casters both hid under their desk. Afterwards, they say something along the lines of, okay, that's it, Blitz bro. Once the production team realizes what has transpired the team, the stream quickly cuts to an ad break, a thread to an Arstone subreddit was formed swiftly, but the clip has been taken down since. As a matter of fact, the entire video on demands of Grandmaster's third day seems to no longer exist. Yes, Blizzard trying to remove all evidence of that. So, I mean, you know, they're they're really trying to highly censor all of the Hong Kong protests, 
And what do you have? You have a situation where the coronavirus, you know, comes out and then there's like a, a lockdown and they literally clear the streets. I mean, people are getting shot over this. Um, and then magically coronavirus hits and they, it, it, the, the Hong Kong protests are, you know, just disappearing left and right. And now Hong Kong with coronavirus curb protests may return. There's another little chunk you might want to put into your wheel wagon um, to think about what's really going on behind the scenes of all this fear porn. Of course, it's an election year. Of course, people are going to politicize this and try to use it. Um, but there's way more going on behind this coronavirus than because you know the fear porn and mass hysteria is way overblown um, for the number of deaths. Um, it, you know, it's it's still got the same kind of death rate, actually lower than the common flu. So, you know, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Leaving Hong Kong, how coronavirus anti-government protests soured the expatriate dream and a bitter blow to city's talent pool. People are fleeing Hong Kong because they, you know, expect the you know, Chinese government to just basically take it over at some point in the near future. So, you know, that's a big problem. And the other big thing going on behind the scenes that you may not have heard about, um, Trump stays silent as Saudi Arabia's crown prince orchestrates another brazen power grab. What the heck is going on here? Well, it turns out there's an oil war going on. Trump spoke to Saudi crown prince before oil production hike uh, March 10th, 2020. And basically, you know, it comes down to an oil price war between Saudi Arabia and Russia. Oh, and Iran. So, you know, while I'm sitting there looking at the, I'm in South Sumter, South Carolina, and our gas prices today were a dollar eighty a gallon. So personally, I'm loving this coronavirus. Aside from the guy who literally, you know, he he literally freaking. I, I sneeze because we you know, it's allergy season, obviously. My whole car is bright freaking yellow. I sneeze one time. The dude literally ducked like a grenade had just hit the floor. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but regardless, you know, there's an oil war going on right now, and Saudi Arabia is artificially reducing its prices. This is something called Morganization. It was named after J.P. Morgan, who basically would artificially drop all of his prices to run other people out of business. So while all this is going on, while the markets are all downturning, while there are less flights, they canceled the NBA, the NHL, uh, you know, NASCAR. I just got a call today from my dad who said the governor's going to announce that school's canceled. So now my kids are going to be home. I don't even have to drive to school every morning. That's a whew, yay. Um, yeah, this coronavirus is really working out pretty nicely for me. Um, I don't know about you. I don't have a 401k or any stock market issues to worry about. So I'm not really sweating that one. Um, and you might be, and you know, you know, Hey, sorry, you know, that's, that's your, uh, you know, that's your problem. And, I uh, I do feel for you and your stock market. Just kidding. I don't, I don't really at all. Um, um, but this oil war going on, you might want to look into that because at the end of the day, there's a lot going on, but what's really going on is propaganda and fake news. And fear porn, you know, fear is the motivator. Fear is, you know, the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. And if any of you watched any of these videos that are going viral, of people fighting over toilet paper and hand sanitizer, I mean, literally fist fights in freaking, you know, major stores all around the globe. It's kind of freaking ridiculous. And you have to wonder what's going on. And it's because, you know, the people are using slave speak and uh, they're definitely using something called FUD. And FUD is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And it is a tactic used in sales, marketing, public relations, politics, and propaganda. If you create enough fear, uncertainty, and doubt, you can drive people to do just about anything from buying crap to letting new laws be written that take away your liberties. 
and those who would give up essential liberty for temporary salvation deserve neither. So keep that in mind. Um, that's my take on all this. I hope that you guys have appreciated, uh, you know, just a, a grander view of what's going on because I think that a lot of the hype behind coronavirus is overblown. And I think that, you know, this isn't going to be the end. I mean, some, some people be like, That's it, man. Game over, man. Game but, over. but, you know, they're completely wrong. Um, you know, we're going to see this thing through. It's not going to be as big a deal as it, as, as it made out to be in the media. And of course, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. So the fear porn will continue. Um, but just remember at the end of the day, you know, they will all be wrong. So don't sweat it. Um, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. So please share this video. Drop a like if you liked it. Let me know uh, in the comment section below, what have you experienced in your hometown with the coronavirus mass hysteria and the fear porn that's led to it? Um, I'd love to hear you know your, your stories. Probably going to be pretty funny stuff. Um, I'm going to get this gas mask off now because, you know, I've got a real nice uh, 0.2 uh, micron uh, you know, face mask and all this. I'm, I'm prepped for war when I go out, and it just makes people laugh. Uh, but regardless, th this is really overblown, so don't sweat it. Um, you know, take normal precautions. Wash your freaking hands. Don't touch your eyes and your, your, your orifices in your face. Uh, without, you know, cleaning your freaking hands and treat it like any other flu season, because that's really what this is. It's another flu season. Um, you know, the, the Chinese government did not design a biological weapon to come out and get you. Maybe they designed it to clear out the streets of Hong Kong. But uh, regardless, this is affecting global markets. There's definitely an oil war going on right now as a result. And the benefit to you is, Hey man, come summertime, gas might be a dollar fifty a gallon, at least here in Summer, South Carolina. Um, I feel for you guys who are, you know, in other states who pay so freaking much. I mean, I don't understand how y'all pay that much for gas, but regardless, I don't. Um, so thank you all for watching this and uh please, you know, share this video. Sharing is caring. Um, and uh remember that with truth comes uh power and with power comes great responsibility so please use this information to attack ideas not people if this video resonates with you leave me a comment because i love hearing from you all first time here be sure to subscribe and click the bell the bell doesn't always work so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter remember it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people. Kids are impressionable. That's why here at this station, we watch the programs and commercials your child watches carefully. He may see bad guys, but not in the role of heroes. And he'll learn that crime doesn't pay. Because your child's welfare is our concern too. That's part of our code. Better than anything you can get without a prescription. Anything. It's the best.